I did all my artwork 45 years ago, um, between the ages of 21 and 24, uh, when I lived in Philadelphia. Um, I did a lot of um, oil and acrylic painting, multicolor, but uh, I, got, I got a phone call from my brother in April of this year saying, Bob, do you know you have a suitcase full of your artwork, your black and white drawings, in my garage and I go yeah I gave it to him when I got married for him to hold it well he was cleaning out his garage and he said what do you want me to do with it so I said why don't you ship them to me so I got two shipments the, the total was about 1250 drawings and they're pretty rough I think to this day um, since April I have about 300 plus pictures that I probably will keep untouched uh, the rest of it, uh, the other 900 drawings, I've been reworking. Look at the paper is uh, very textured. There's a lot of lines, a lot of roughness. The technique that I used was quick, fast, and destructive to the paper. Now all those, when I use the paper now, the texture might become the lapel or might become a scar on the face. And it's, it's very interesting. And as I started to rework this, it seemed like I got real small. Uh, most of my work is five by seven or smaller, and I have a few pieces that are over eight by 10, but very few, because all of the originals that I have, I have 300 that are full-size pieces of paper. So as I started to rework them, I wanted to save the paper. The substrate was the most important thing that I had at this point. fascinating to have to be reworking something that I did uh, a, f a long time ago and now I'm bringing it back to life it's, it's pretty exciting and what I found out is on a regular piece of paper the size of my artwork now I may get 10 15 little pictures out of one piece of paper so I'm saving I have different uh, areas where I save scraps of paper. I save big scraps and little scraps. And then from that, it dictates what will eventually be framed or not.